Hey guys, welcome back to Earthbeat. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace the cameras on your S22 Ultra. To remove the back cover of your device, I made three videos of the back glass replacement of this S22 Ultra. I will put the link to that video in the description. So what do we have here? You can see the main camera. That camera has something on the lens. So it is not as clear as the other cameras. In short, the main camera on this device is broken. So we need to replace it. After all my tests, I found that the main camera is bad. And there is also the camera that goes beyond 10x. That one also is bad. So you may be asking the question you have one or two cameras that are bad but why do you purchase all four cameras because i was forced to purchase all four cameras the seller did not want to sell me a single camera and most of the other sellers selling the samsung s22 ultra cameras were selling the bundle all together so right now i'm testing the old cameras and as you can see we have the ultra wide camera that one is clear it does not have any damage and as you can see at 1x we can see the image became first that is what I was telling you earlier. The camera, the main camera on this device, a small scratch on the lens. The scratch is on the lens itself. So there is no way to repair it but to replace the camera. So I was telling you earlier, no sellers wanted to sell a single camera. I was able to find only a few sellers that were selling the ultra wide camera alone. I think at that time, nobody knew that these cameras can be separated. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can separate every single camera that are bundled together for the s22 ultra right now i'm removing all the flex cables connected to the motherboard so that i can remove the motherboard from the frame of the device and then proceed in removing all the flex cables that are coming from the cameras and connected to the motherboard that way i can remove the bundle of cameras and then replace it with the new camera that i bought so to remove the motherboard out of the frame of the device make sure that you remove the battery cable first and then remove the other flex cables that way you will not have any equipment damage or any component damage the old cameras are out of the device and it is time to install the new cameras while removing the old cameras make sure you do not touch the lenses to avoid any fingerprint on your next pictures for the installation of the new cameras also make sure you do not touch the camera lenses and also make sure that you connect all the flex cables and they are fully landed on the motherboard by landed i mean connected fully and fully inserted all the way to the motherboard that way you will not have any failed camera due to the flex cables connection once the motherboard is ready you need to reinstall it inside the frame of the device make sure that you look for all the flex cables that are lying inside the frame of the device you do not want to put unnecessary pressure or unnecessary tension on those flex cables they are really tiny and fragile especially the flex cable of the s pen reassemble everything in the reverse order and then you can put the battery cable at last so the new cameras have been installed on the motherboard i just turned on the device and i'm going to test the cameras to make sure everything is working properly i should not have any foggy image or any fuzzy image with these cameras the main camera on this one is good it does not have any issues the third camera also is good so in reality this was the third or fourth time that i reinstalled this camera because the first time it was a nightmare the camera was not responding i had some compatibility issues only the ultra wide camera will be working and then when i switch from ultra wide to the main camera at that moment the image will be blocked the camera will stop working and if i try to switch from 0.5 all the way to 100x i will not see anything and the camera app will suddenly fail and crash so when that happened i had to go inside the setting app find the camera app then turn it off reinstall it and install it and then test the cameras again that did not work i had to install some third party camera app and then those did not work also so the other thing that i had to do was to go inside the bootloader of android reset the device to zero i had to reset the cache partition and also reset the device completely after all those i turned on the device and tested the cameras but it did not work also the main camera app was not working the third party camera app that I installed also were not working. So at that moment I was confused. I did everything that was on the internet for compatibility issues. So at that time I had only two choices left. Purchase another camera and install it on the device or check my connection on the motherboard. So you guess what I did first? I checked all the connection on the motherboard and then tested the cameras and everything worked miraculously. So in reality I never had a compatibility issues but a bad connection issue. 
Also for a proper back glass replacement, I have the video in the description for you to check. I didn't cover that in this video because it will be too long. The replacement of the back glass is not difficult. You just need to purchase a good quality back cover that you're going to install on your device. If you did not plan to purchase a new back cover, you can reuse the old back cover if it has not been cracked while you remove it to change your cameras. To reseal your old back cover, you will need B7000 that is a glue that is used for smartphone repairs. It will help you seal the back of your device properly instead of reusing the double-sided tape that was on the old back cover. If you're installing a new back cover, it is much easier. You just can follow my videos. I have five or six videos on back cover replacement. So now let's jump into the separation of the cameras of your S22 Ultra. The first thing that we need to do is to remove the screw on the back of the cameras. That is going to help you separate the periscope camera and the other three cameras. I'm not really sure why they went with this design having everything fused together this way it make it seems like it is not separatable so I added a bunch of heat resistance tape on the back of the ultra wide I knew they used some double sided tape to hold the cameras inside the camera bezel so that is why I heated the back of the ultra wide in order to remove it the next camera is the 10x camera and beyond that camera also has some double sided tape that holding one side of the camera to the enclosure of the bigger camera. I initially thought with heat I could remove it like the ultra wide but if I did that that camera will be damaged. So after that we have the main camera that is left. This camera had the most issues to be removed. Logically you do not have to remove the camera out of the enclosure. It is the only camera left you can just replace it with your new camera. Here you can see me hitting the back of the camera but it was not the back but the edge of the camera. If you hit the back of this camera you're going to hit directly the sensor and probably damage it. I was just curious to see how long it will take me to remove this camera out of the enclosure and make sure that the camera did not get damaged while I remove it. That was my goal and then test the camera to make sure it is still working without the big enclosure and kind of understand why they use that big enclosure on the S22 Ultra. All the cameras had been removed safely but the main camera is the only one with some dent. Those dents can prevent the camera from using the OIS properly. I did make sure that that the OIS was working properly by pulling a little bit to an indent the camera. Also I tested the cameras, everything was working as if I didn't remove the enclosure. But I did understand why they put that enclosure, it was for stability. Without the enclosure with a small shift you can see the camera is shaking. So that is why they put that big enclosure in the first place. Surprisingly the main camera also was working like nothing happened. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like and share and I will see you next time.